Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers in Quebec City have developed an effective new method for converting carbon dioxide into methanol, which can be used as a low emissions fuel. A team at Université Laval has developed a method of CO2 to methanol catalysis using hydroborane, a complex compound of hydrogen, carbon, and boron. The method produces methanol from CO2 more efficiently than ever before, and the hydroborane catalyst can even be reused. The only downside to this new method is the cost. Synthesizing hydroborane is expensive, which means it will be some time and require some more work before this method of making methanol is practical outside of the research lab. Next up, researchers in Canada and Germany have created a new high-resolution 3D model of the human brain. Until now, most model brains didn't contain details any smaller than about one millimeter. This new model, called Big Brain, records details down to a size of 20 microns, smaller than the diameter of a typical human hair. The Big Brain model was built from over 7,000 images of the actual brain of a 65-year-old woman. The project took over 1,000 hours to complete. McGill University, which participated in the project along with Heinrich Heine University Dusseldorf in Germany, is making Big Brain available online to anyone who wants to view it for free. Finally, for a bit of non-science news, Exodus International one of the largest Christian ministries in the world dedicated to quote-unquote curing people of homosexuality is closing down. Exodus President Alan Chambers announced last week that following a unanimous vote from his board of directors, the organization would soon cease all operations. Additionally, Chambers posted a lengthy letter to the Exodus International website apologizing for the pain and confusion he and his organization had caused members of the LGBT community and pledging to move forward with a focus on peace and the common good. Please know that I am deeply sorry, Chambers writes. I am sorry we promoted sexual orientation change efforts and reparative theories about sexual orientation that stigmatized parents. I am sorry that there were times I didn't stand up to people publicly on my side who called you names like sodomite or worse. I am sorry that I, knowing some of you so well, failed to share publicly that the gay and lesbian people I know were every bit as capable of being amazing parents as the straight people that I know. I cannot apologize for my beliefs about marriage, but I do not have any desire to fight you on your beliefs or the rights that you seek. My beliefs about these things will never again interfere with God's command to love my neighbor as I love myself. Scientists develop an effective new method for producing a clean fuel. Researchers construct the most detailed 3D model of the human brain yet, and one of the biggest anti-gay ministries in the world apologizes and then shuts its doors. That's the good news. Are you pleased with your performance? Hmm? No? No. Oh. I agree, you could have done better. <laughs>